Now it is possible to build a mail merge with dynamic content, making use of an if criteria. So that if, for example, here in our special offer ready file, if we wanted to add in a new paragraph and have its text determined by how much people earned, so if they earned above a certain threshold, we'd make them a different offer. If they didn't, then we'd make them a lesser offer. Then we could do that through the use of an if rule. Now the rules in your mail merge are here under rules on the mailings. And we can see there are a number of items here, but the one that I'm interested in is if then else. So what I'm going to do down here is we'd like to bring your attention to a special deal we're running at the moment, offering you the ability to buy another title at a reduced rate of only $25. In here, there's going to be another paragraph, and the text of that paragraph will be determined by how much each person earns. So we go to rules, if then else. So if, choose a field name, and that field name I'm interested in is the salary. If their salary is greater than 20,000, now I don't need to put $20,000, I don't need to put 20, 000, I just put the raw number, then the text I would like to be inserted in is and we can also offer the full suite of training at a one-off deal of $999. Because if they earn over $20,000, they've got a little bit more cash to spend. However, if they don't earn more than $20,000, then we're going to make them a little offer, which is, and we can also offer this deal on any one other product also at $25. So that way they can buy two DVDs, whereas we're offering the higher earners the whole suite. So we say OK, and that text gets placed in here, but we won't see the result of the two different ifs until we go into preview the data and skip through. Now really what we should do is let's pull in the salary field here. So insert salary just so we can see if it has the desired effect. So this person does earn over 20,000 and we can see they get the line that says the full training suite. If we then scroll through again, someone's now below 20,000 and they get the little paragraph and we can also offer this deal for one other product. So you're building your mail merge dynamically based on the value of one of the fields in the data. And that's done through rules, if then else. So you need to place your cursor in the letter or in the document where that rule needs to start taking place, put in your comparison, whatever that comparison might be against the data field, and then the two blocks of text. What will happen when the comparison is met? What will happen if the comparison is not met? Now, if you need to edit an if else rule, you cannot do that through the dialog box up here. So let's click cancel. This is my dynamic paragraph. Now I know that because it grays out when I click into it, therefore telling me that it's a field. Now, just like the fields we've seen previously, you can actually right click, toggle the field code, and then you will see what's going on. So if, whatever the value is currently, because I've got preview results on, let's take that off, toggle the field code. If 11,750 is greater than 20,000, then we put out this, and we can also make the full suite of training at one off deal 909, close speech marks, open the next lot of speech marks, and we can also offer this deal on any one other product. Now you can make edits to here. It may be that you actually want to adjust this threshold to 25,000 and adjust the deal here to 2750 for those that earn less than 25,000 and those that earn more. Let's make that a 975 offer. Right click, toggle the field codes back around and then we preview the results again. Let's preview. They're over 20, but they're only getting the one extra offer. We now need to be over 25,000. 14, 14, 17, 10, 16, 16. Must be someone over 25,000. Oop, 30,000 there. 30,000, and they get the sweet deal. Anything less than 25, and they get the one extra product at 2750. So that's using the if then else. It's under the rules drop down, if then else. Don't actually start filling this in until you're in the correct place in the document. Editing it would then need to be done in the field code, which is right click, toggle field codes. And you can there see the criteria and the text that you're outputting both for the true value and for the false value.